Hello everyone, my name is Jesper, I'm from Astera. Welcome to the Hydra Panel product walkthrough. First of all, I want to mention a few key features when it comes down to this Hydra Panel. CRMX, wireless DMX, wired DMX and the runtime is just as you know it from the Titan tube, so maximum brightness it runs for 1 hour 45 minutes. There's of course many other things which we will come into details during this walkthrough. Now it is a compact little panel packed with features. You also see the size here on my right side, a very small but very powerful and bright little panel with a weight of only 604 grams. The total LED power is 25 watts and after we calibrated it, it is 17 watts. It comes with 1300 lumens and 515 lux at one meter. This is without filter. Charging time from 0% up to 100 is done in only three hours. The Hydra panel is of course built with our famous Titan LED engine, which means RGB, mint and amber. The white range goes all the way down to 1750 Kelvin and all the way up to 20,000 Kelvin. CRI TLCI is 96 or above and depending on the color space you want to use, from the app with a DMX console, RGB, HSI, X and Y, and there is also filter gels accessible from the light itself, from the app or from various DMX profiles. On top of having the Titan LED engine built into the Hydra panel, we took it a step further and basically made six individually controllable pixels here with the Hydra panel. Now just to show you guys how the pixels are aligned here, we have one pixel here, 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 here and here. So six pixels in total. When it comes down to controlling the light, there will also be an option to choose one, two, three or six pixel control. We can also combine panels, but I will come more into details in that later. Now, with all this pixel control and also the way you see it right here, we could also change the effect here real quick to a poor man's process. It all comes down to you how you want to program it, whether it's in the Estera app or on your lighting desk. Now, controlling the Hydra panel is just as you know it from all the other Astera lights. We can take our tablet or smartphone, connect it with an Astera box or a BTB light. Then we can create groups and we can also change effects using the Astera app. The Hydra panel also have built in BTB, Bluetooth bridge, which means that we do not necessarily need the Astera box. We can take our smartphone or tablet and connect it directly as a bridge to our Astera app and then pair other lights so we can control everything together. It also has CRMX wireless DMX so you can also hook the Astera box up to your lighting console or a wireless DMX transmitter. If you do have a more permanent installation you can also hardwire it so hardwire with power and data through the same cable. So if you are in need of hardwiring the light with power and also with data, then we can also daisy chain the lights. It has an in and output, then we can put it in here and then run it to the next Hydra panel. This can be done with the Pixel Brick power box. The power box 2 times 86 watt has two outputs and we can daisy chain four Hydras on one output. So that means from the same power box, eight hydras at one time. Of course, there is power and data combination cables, 5, 10 and 15 meters. And here we have a 200 millimeter cable to daisy chain them with. And guys, this is actually data and power through one and the same cable. Now, the cool thing is, even though we hardwire the lights outside like this and using the power box 2 times 86 watt, they are also IP65. The Hydra panel do have a display similar to the Titan tubes and also Pixel Brick AX9, which means that we have dedicated buttons for brightness and also color control. However, there is a new little added thing to the display, which is the touch lighter. The touch lighter is very efficient if you want to change the brightness level or if we want to change the CCT. We could, for instance, go in here, then we can scroll it down, we can scroll it up again. Then we can go here to the color as well, also changing the CCT so it goes very fast. Now the touch lighter is only active when you press the bright brightness or the color button or if you set a DMX address 
or when setting a fixture number. However, if you want to be a little bit more precise, let's say we scroll a little bit, then we also have a plus and a minus to go more precise up and down here. We can also use the middle of the touch slider as an enter button to go through the menu as you see right here. Now to the light modifiers. We actually have six light modifiers so you can choose what you want to use in your situation. Everything here is actually with four magnets on the hydro panel right here so we can easily just clip it on, take it off, choose another one in case we want to. The hydro panel without any modifiers has a native beam on 100 by 110 degrees. Next up is the little diffuser sheet here which narrows down the beam a bit and again here with magnets just easy to clip on and it also doesn't increase the height of the light so if you are tight with the space you can use the diffuser sheet. The diffuser sheet is also meant to avoid multi-color shading. On top of this we also included the gel holder. The gel holder just allows you to choose your favorite silk or spun and use it like this or any sort of diffusion. Next up here is the soft frame 100 degrees so it also narrows down a little bit and gives a very nice and soft light. But you might see that it's a little bit taller than the others also means that if you do light up a subject you have some very nice shadows here as well with the soft frame 100. Using it as a practical in-frame, the soft frame 100 also fits very well because it just blends in and feels like the light actually belongs there. So with the soft frame 100, it is a very nice practical. Whether you choose to mount it on a wall with the magnets, use the flex base, standing there, anything can be done. Next up here is the intensifier 80. So it narrows down the beam down to 80 degrees, but it also intensifies the brightness with 1.5 times. You might see that it also has magnets here in front, so actually in all four corners, because it allows us to add egg crates. So this is a 60 degree egg crate which we can combine with the intensifier and on top of that we also made a 40 degree egg crate also easy suitable here for the intensifier. Of course if you use the intensifier it also gives a good pu punch with 80 degree and as a result of that also some nice shadows. Of course the egg crates for controlling spill light and also the beam which can be added onto the intensifier just as easy as this. As a third party accessory, DOP Choice have also made a snapback for the Hydra panel. Easy to actually wrap around here with some Velcro straps, put it down in the frame and here we have the little snapback. With two different magic cloth, the magic cloth and also a half cloth. We were on a shoot where we actually used a cold shoe mounting the Hydra to a camera and using the DOP Choice snapback up on top to give the model a soft, nice light. When it comes to mounting options, there is a whole bunch of options. First things first is the flex base. And the flex base is actually mounted on the Hydra here. You can do it on both sides. This is an integrated cold shoe. Then we can take our flex base and click it in. The flex base also have foldable feet, so we can use it as a stand, simply just doing like this. And then we can place it and we can angle the Hydra panel when it's on the flex base as well. And in this way, it makes it super easy just to place it wherever you want, maybe for a fill light or maybe for an accent in frame. The flex base also have sink holes, so if there is some difficulties finding places to mount it, then we can screw it into wood or wherever we can screw something in and then mount the flex base just as we did in the video right here. With the sinkholes here, when you want to screw it into a ceiling or something like that, also makes it super flexible to mount it into a scenery and make it look like it is supposed to be there. There are of course threads in the flex base, so once we mount it onto the hydro panel, we can for instance take this little baby pin, quarter inch, then we have the option to place it here to screw it into a grip head or mount it with a clamp. And we can also place it on this side of the flex base to be more flexible mounting it. So once it's sitting there, we also have some flexibility just moving the light. 
The flex base also have M5 threads, so in case you want to hang it or safety wire it, then we also have M5 threads for eye bolts here, for instance. The baby pin here was developed with the Hydra panel, of course, fits into the flex base, but it also fits into the Titan tube holder, which you see in the Titan tube kit, and it also fits into the wing plate, so you can mount your Astera tubes with this little baby pin here as well. The Hydra panel has three M5 threads here in the corner, so we could screw in an eye bolt and we can hang it. Sometimes it can be tricky to hang, for instance, the Hydra panel, then you can hang it with a safety wire or two safety wires, just as we did here. Once you walk down the stairs, we needed a key light just to have her nicely lit up. So this was the only way we could hang it down the stairs, as you see it here. Now, there's a lot of options to mount the Hydra panel with. Flex base, we have the M5 threads, but we also do have an integrated magnet on the back here. Again, the same example when she came down the stairs, we needed a key light when she turns in the corner, and same goes for that we can easily integrate it into scenery. We did have some metal in this scene here where we just hung it up with the magnet and could, of course, control it with DMX or app control just as we like to do. When you do hang it up high down in this corner, we do have a safety hook so you can mount a safety wire and hang it safely. Now there is of course many options using one hydro panel just like this, but what you see here on the side is actually a connector plate. That means that we can combine panels to have a medium sized panel. So one connector plate is connecting two panels, simply just like this, click it down, then we can take a third one and then also add this to the row. We can actually have a medium sized panel with four Hydra panels at one time. So simply just do like this. And what you also see is that everything is sitting very smooth and very tight and good. So instead of having one Hydra panel, if you are in need, then you can connect up to four Hydra panels to have a medium sized panel. Once the panels are combined, they are pretty stable already, but to stabilize it even more, this is actually what these screws are for. So we can just turn them all here one time and then it tightens up the whole constellation of panels. So it's actually sitting very tight. These screws here behind on the connector plate. Here on the back, there's also some threads where this baby pin of course fits in. So we can screw it in and mount it to a grip head or with a clamp of any art that fits to this baby pin as well. So this is actually how easy it is to combine panels to have a medium sized panel here as well. I mentioned the touch slider already earlier when we want to adjust brightness or maybe change the CCT or set a DMX address. What you see here on the side right there is actually infrared. So when we connect them together, they are in a control sink. So here I have a panel of two. And this, of course, also works when you connect four to have a medium sized panel. When I want to adjust the brightness right here, you will also see that the other display acting exactly the same here when I adjust the brightness. The same goes for when we want to do the CCT. So just adjust on one panel, the control sink will make sure that all connected panels here with the infrared will act as one panel. The Hydra panel is IP65 when running off battery, but also when you hardwire it. With the light comes two DC socket covers, which means that when you want to run it off battery outside in rain, just remember to plug in these two DC socket covers. We can also use this one outside when hardwired to the power box two times 86 watt. We just need to use these cables. The power box two times 86 watt is IP65 and these cables here when hardwired and you can daisy chain the light is also IP65 rated. The Hydra panel comes as single units. It also comes as a single unit kit. The difference here is that it includes all the accessories plus a FP1, a Titan power supply. It also comes with a kit of four, includes again all accessories and it also do have charging contacts so we can charge it directly in the case with just one power supply plugged into the mains. Now just for your reference, what you see here on the right side is actually what is included in a single unit kit. So one Hydra panel including 
all the beam shaping modifiers. We have connector plates, we have baby pins, we have Titan power supply as well and of course comes in a little nice hard case. The kit of four also have everything included. The only difference is that you can charge the lights directly in the case with the charging contact. So again, all the beam shaping modifiers, the flex base, you will get the connector plate, baby pins, so you can also connect them together to create a medium sized panel. Now with all the options to mount and with all the different light modifiers, the Hydra panel fits to a huge range of applications. So with its, its flicker-free Titan LED engine, it makes it suitable for in-frame shots, but also off-frame. Easy mounting with the flex base mounted on a C-stand and with the connector plate makes it easy to combine the Hydra panels to a medium-sized panel whenever you are in need of that. Many different light modifiers to create the right look and egg crates combined with the intensifier 80 degree to narrow down the beam and have control over the light. The many mounting and light modifier option makes it easy to integrate into scenery as practical. It can be used in frame as an object that looks natural or off frame as top light, backlight, fill light, etc. Thanks to the built-in battery, it makes the Hydra panel very versatile and easy to place wherever you need it, whether it's to add light to the subject or in-frame as light that looks like it belongs there. With its only 604 grams, Hydra panel can easily be mounted on a camera because of its integrated cold shoe. So that was everything there is to know about the Hydra panel. Thank you for watching.